Hey guys, John and Coe Spear Guns here to go over one of our products, the Koa High Powered Muzzle Mounted Flashlight. Um, we already have one flashlight I'm sure many of you are aware of, the Amp One. It is a lower power, more direct uh, flashlight. That one was really just meant to light up. It was small so it could fit almost anywhere. That one was really just to light up what's directly in front of you. This one will light up the entire hole. It has three power settings. Uh, low is 300 lumens, medium is 1,000 lumens, and high is 3,000 lumens. Um, it's extremely bright, I will say that. It's aluminum housing, so it's a little bit stronger. And this kit has everything you need to put it on your spear gun. Um, I have a little blend gun here that I'll show you, just to give you an idea of how we would install it. So, you open the kit. It has the flashlight itself, it has our uh, Koa molded flashlight holder and the GoPro buckle attached to it, and then it has the uh, aluminum GoPro mount. Usually we had an adhesive uh, GoPro mount, the plastic ones, the helmet mounts, but these are the aluminum, so they're a lot stronger because the flashlight does weigh more. It's not super heavy, but it does weigh more than a plastic flashlight. Um, so you have that, and then you have the three number six flathead screws that go with it. So, real simple. It also comes with, the kit also comes with a drill bit for those number six screws that was designed for those number six screws so you don't over pilot hole the, um, the wood for the, for the mount. So, you end up putting your mount on, this is a fat bag by the way, this is a standard fat bag. These were just built to have a nice landing spot here for the uh, GoPro mount. You can put them on the Euro, you can put them on almost all of our models, it's just they may not line up the exact same way because you need a flat spot to put them on. Uh, we had the screws, they only go in maybe four, four or five threads, they don't go super deep because we didn't want to go into a uh, band pocket if at all possible. So here's the aluminum mount, use the drill bit that it comes with. You can put tape on this if you want to. You really only need to go max three eighths of an inch deep, which is a very deep. So if you want to put tape on it to mark so you don't go too deep, that's a good idea. We drill every day, so we're kind of used to it. So you put in your number six screws in the shape of a triangle. There's four holes on here. The middle one's a threaded hole for like a harder camera mount, but the three outside holes are the ones for if you're gonna screw the mount to something. You have one on the top, two on the bottom. Perfect. And then you open up your light. Now this light does have a lithium rechargeable battery and a charger. So it has a little slide charger in there. I'm sure many of you have seen them. Um, when you open it and turn on the light, you'll notice it probably does not turn on. Um, you open up the back compartment and it will most likely have a little uh, separator between the battery and the contact so it doesn't discharge constantly. Um, a lot of the batteries when we open them up, they, they have just run out just from transit time and everything. Uh, you just put on the charger, wait till it's fully charged, it should pop right in. That has a nice long battery life. So take care of that. And it also comes with a three page instruction booklet in there. It tells you all how to use it. Um, so then you have your co mount for the light. You'll notice on the light, it has a half inch indent right, about, right around the middle. That's for where this is supposed to go. This will snap right over the top of it. And it holds it pretty tight so it doesn't come off. And now you have your muzzle mounted light. So you can be doing a dive or you don't want to use it right away. You can just keep this clipped off to you, whatever you want to do, and then you can just snap it in as needed. And then you can take it out when you don't want it to be at the muzzle of your gun. Now, very important, with all the models and with GoPro mounts, it is very important that when you are relining the gun with your mono or spectra or whatever you have it lined with, to stay out of these fins that are right here on a GoPro mount because they will catch your mono and they will throw your shot off. And we don't want to do that. So when you reline the gun, just make sure the mono stays to the side. 
the outside of the GoPro mount itself. And then the way it is mounted is the way it releases. So when you pull the trigger, that's how it releases. So that's pretty much it. Hope you like the product. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, John, J-O-H-N at CoSpearGuns.com or Mike at CoSpearGuns.com and we're happy to help you out. Thanks guys.